Welcome to episode one of the CWT Finance Show. So my name is Caleb Tanner. I run the investment blog, financebycwt.com. And I'm creating the show really for two reasons. One, you know, when I first launched the blog, I also wanted to launch a podcast with it. And I did. And I had a podcast going. And basically on my podcast distributor, I logged in through the Twitter account that I own for Finance by CWT. And that's what I used to create the podcast. And then that, you know, podcast distribution service... Yeah, there's no way to log in with Twitter anymore. So I actually have no idea where the podcast even is. So now we're doing a YouTube show. So there's that. And also, you know, obviously I want to increase the traffic to my blog. So this podcast, I guess, was sponsored by, you know, the financebycwt.com blog. Basically what I want you to do, follow Finance by CWT on, I don't care if it's Instagram, you know, the Facebook page, Twitter. Follow it on something. And then when you do, you get notified every time I make a blog post. And then read the blog. That's full sponsor. You know, that's the purpose. But in this episode, basically the podcast My First Million, which is one of my favorite podcasts out there, they had a guy on the show and they were talking about, well, the actual topic was Shamath and basically his SPAC stocks, which to be fair, you know, is a very good point. You know, they're basically talking about how those stocks haven't done well at all, which is objectively true. Like, that's not an opinion the SPACs that Shamath pushed, almost all, if not all of them, are drastically down from when he started pushing them. Like, none of them have really done that well. Now, a lot of it's not his fault. The market took a massive downturn, you know, after he was promoting them. But, you know, it's still objectively true that almost all the stocks he was really pushing are way down right now. And they're talking about how there's, you know, some good ones in there. And then they were talking about some bad ones, and one of the ones they mentioned was SoFi stock, which you know, kind of surprised me because SoFi is, you know, in my opinion, a really great stock. And obviously, don't take my word for it, nor should you, but you know, if you look at the actual numbers, and obviously these are opinions, like these are the actual numbers of the company, you know, so I feel like it's really hard not to arrive at the same conclusion I have that SoFi is a massively good stock. You know, just looking at the quarterly report, and I haven't pulled up, but just looking at the quarterly report they released for the last quarter, you know, their actual revenue, based off generally accepted accounting principles, was $457 million, which is net revenue up 60% year over year. You know, that's one of the things that I think makes SoFi such a great stock, is that it's growing insanely quickly. Like, their revenue is absolutely skyrocketing every single quarter. Which is obviously great news. Like after that you know, report came out, the one that I'm reading, so if my stock took a massive increase based off of the numbers. Like when you look at, you know, their adjusted EBITDA, it's up seventy million dollars, which is a fifteen point three times year over year increase, which is also absolutely just insane. Now they're obviously not a profitable company. You know, they are losing money, but by the end of the year, you know, according to their numbers, they are projecting to be profitable at that point, which would obviously be amazing as a shareholder. And the best thing about the actual stock, I think, is how much users they're increasing. Like, look at actually that, the last report that they announced. They added 480,000 new members, or nearly 480,000 new members. That means that, the, that just people joining the app is up 51% year over year. But the fact that so many more people are joining the platform and starting to use at least one of their services is absolutely amazing. Which leads into one of my other favorite things about the stock is their ability to cross-sell. Like if, and I'm making this scenario up, you know, let's say somebody joins SoFi for their investing app. You know, they're looking for an app that they can invest in the stocks with. They look at SoFi and they join it for that. Well, then they start seeing, you know, the credit card on there. So maybe they get the credit card. And then they start getting promoted for the bank account. So maybe they open a bank account with SoFi. And then they see the loan. So when they need a loan later, they go get a loan from SoFi. And suddenly, you know, while they download it for an investing app, they're using SoFi for every single thing that they have. And you know, we see that with the company. Their ability to cross-sell and get more people using more and more things on their app is absolutely amazing. And that's one of my favorite things about the company is that, you know, we look at how much the revenue is actually increasing. But what I care about the most is how many users they're actually getting. Because while they're making good revenue off those users now, since they're able to cross-sell to these users so well, 
and get more and more people signed up to the platform, yet actually using more and more of their stuff, you know, that's absolutely amazing for SoFi. And it's actually amazing for the company as well. But when you look at how much the company is actually growing, one thing that's really cool is that the management team at SoFi obviously believes the stock is undervalued as well. Their CEO is still buying, you know, great amount of shares all the time. Even with the bank crisis that's been happening, SoFi stock took a fall as well since they offer banking on the platform. But the CEO, once the stock fell, bought a million dollars worth of the stock, which is just absolutely amazing as well. Like when you see the actual leader of the company, obviously believe so much that he's investing in the company as much as he is, that's a good sign for the stock as well. So, you know, I look at SoFi as a really great company. And, you know, my first million was a directly attacking it. They just put it into the category of a bad stock. But I don't know, I think the fact that SoFi is a great company, which it looks like a really bright future, is just objectively true. And that's all for this episode. It's a very short episode for the first episode. But I really just want to talk about the stock. And thank you for watching the show. Follow Finance by CWT on either Instagram or Twitter or Facebook. And thank you for watching the show.